You refer to the Dewhurst disaster. Absolutely. And specifically on your website, you put at the lieutenant governor's feet, his feet, not everybody's feet, his feet, the cuts in public education. Absolutely. What, what did he do specifically to cause those cuts to take right. place? If you will remember, the Senate came out with its budget and was going to allocate over $4 billion new money into public education. Steve Ogden, Florence Shapiro, all of them stood up and said, we're going to draw down from the rainy day fund about $4 billion. And they paraded down this path. And the House went a much lower amount. The House wouldn't go into the rainy day fund, fear of Grover Norquist and all the tea parties and all that kind of stuff. They, they simply wouldn't go there. But the Senate was going to draw down on the rainy day fund. Ogden was ready. They were all ready. And what happened? Right before they were supposed to do it, Dewhurst backed up. Dewhurst backed up and said, oh, wait a minute. I never really said that. Okay, now you're, you're the chairman of Senate Finance, you're chairman of public education, and the central issue in the legislature and the lieutenant governor is unclear about where he stands on it. And they ended up pulling back the rainy day money, not funding enrollment growth, which he had said on th in this stage that he in fact did, was just an absolute lie. Mm -hmm. It's just not true. And political fact, and everybody that's looked at it knows it's not true. But he continues to maintain it. Didn't, didn't cover enrollment growth for the, his, for the first time in the history, known history of our state. We didn't do that. 78,000 new students, we didn't cover that. Um, that is his disaster. If he had stood up as the number two statewide office holder in this state and said, we're going to do what's right by the children of this state, if he had had the courage to do that, and I've done that. I've stood on the House floor in front of opposition and said, we're going to pay teachers fairly. We're going to fund education. If he had had the courage to do that, we, would, we wouldn't be cutting education like we did today. I can promise you this. In the 10 years I served as chairman of public education, eight years I served as chairman of public education, 10 years in the education community, I never left the House floor and turned my back on the children of this state. And that would, and be, your, and that watched, would be your campaign against And I watched him do it. Yeah. And it's not right. Yeah. It's not right. 